So, guess how many people were in the feeder for Green Room tonight? Me and one other guy sitting in front of me. It's what happens when you release films too late, people. Take notes. Hi, I'm Tyler, and I'm here to let you know that Green Room is no perfect movie. So in Green Room, a punk band called the Ain't Rights accept a gig at a neo-Nazi bar out of need for cash. And when they accidentally discover a dead body in their green room, which is another word for a waiting room, the performers become stuck in the room as they're confronted by the bar's gang, which is led by Patrick Stewart. Now let me just say this right off the bat. In my personal opinion, this is not a movie that centers around character development. What it does center around, though, is a very clever premise and its gritty atmosphere. For me, the most ingenious aspect of this movie is the fact that it is a standard home invasion thriller, but ironically, the home invaders are our heroes, and the residents are the villains of this movie, which I think is actually pretty cool. And writer-director Jeremy Saulnier does a very good job at creating an atmosphere that is both very visually interesting and very unsettling to look at for the use of his green color palette. There can be huge, breathtaking shots of the characters driving through a green forest, and then when they get to the actual bar, it is so dirty and grimy, there are pictures of swastikas and confederate flags all over the place. And because most of the characters spend the majority of the movie in the green room, the audience feels just as closed in as the other characters do. And the violence in this movie is very creative, very unnerving, the characters use pretty much anything from knives, guns, there's even a sequence involving animals that I will not spoil at all. And it feels very gritty and very real because these characters don't fight like they're trained killers. They fight like desperate people who are just trying to survive and make it out alive. Despite the fact that the characters don't have a ton of depth, the actors portraying the band, particularly Anton Yelchin, do a very good job of portraying the fear of being trapped in a small space, along with the paranoia that comes with not knowing how many people are after them. But that being said, because there's little depth to the characters, you never actually feel invested in, emotionally invested in anyways, whenever they're in peril. And when they talk about moments in their past that encourage them to keep fighting, like this one guy who gives a monologue about a paintball match that he was in as a kid and how that affects their strategy against the Nazis, it's not that it's bad, it's just it feels like it was thrown in at the last minute. And the other big problem with this movie, and the one that disappointed me the most, honestly, is the villain played by Patrick Stewart. This was what made me want to see this movie so bad. And here's the thing, it's not that he's bad as an actor in this movie, and it's not that he's not in the movie enough. It's just that he's not a very intimidating villain. He never does anything that makes us scared of him. He doesn't torture anyone or kill anyone in a threatening way. He just gives his minions basic instructions on what to do and how to kill these people. And here's the thing, he's a neo-Nazi gang leader. Making this villain threatening is practically gift-wrapped to you. So yeah, despite the fact that Patrick Stewart is doing as best as he can, he has very little to work with. All in all, Green Room's clever premise, grim atmosphere, and very unsettling tension make up for the lack of character development and a very lackluster villain. And for that reason, I'm going to give Green Room a 3.5 out of 5. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, or check out my other reviews at noperfectmovie.com. Thanks for watching. Take care.